Hey, what's up? Hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get iRec, a non jailbroken screen recorder on your iPhone, iPod, or iPad running iOS 8.3, 8.4, whatever, without a computer. If you're excited to learn how to do this, please hit that like button and let's try to reach 600 likes. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, getting iRec is very simple, but before we begin, make sure you check the description to see if this tutorial is still working, because Apple can shut it down at any time. But with all that being said, we can begin by opening Safari and typing in the URL emuforios.net. This will be the website that we'll be using to get iRec. Upon arriving at the website, you'll see tons of applications, but the one that we're looking for specifically is iRec, and you'll be able to tell if the application is working if it has a green or red line next to its icon. Red means that it is not working, and green means that it is working. Now, I recorded this before iRec was released to the public, and that's why it has a red line, but don't worry if it has a green line, you'll be good to go. So go ahead and select the get next to it, hit install, and your application will begin to install. Install. Once it's done, you can go ahead and open it and you can navigate the application by the tabs on the bottom. So you have record, recordings, and info. In info, you can learn more about the application and its creators, but there's another pretty awesome tool that you can use, which is Bug Reporter. And if you ever encounter a problem with iRec, you can report it to the developers directly via Twitter or email. Now, to move on, before we begin a recording, let's mess around with the settings and get it to be the best that we possibly can by going to record and select open settings. Now, the first thing that you would like to have is your microphone on so that you can actually record your voice during your recordings. And this will not record your game audio, but it can record your voice. Now here you have another good amount of settings like orientation and this is very useful to make sure that you record in the right orientation. For example, if you're playing Minecraft, you want to record in landscape because you play the game horizontally. In FPS, I recommend having it on 30 or 60, whichever one you pick is up to you. And audio, you can pretty much leave that the same way that it is right now and you'll be perfectly fine. Moving on from the settings, we're going to go back to our main settings page and go up all the way to general, click accessibility and scroll down to gesture shortcuts. Here we're going to turn on assistive touch because to record open GL games, which are games like Minecraft, Clash of Clans, Infinity Blade, GBA for iOS, you need to have assistive touch on or it will not work. It'll just have a black screen. So make sure you set the accessibility shortcut, which is a triple click to home button to assistive touch. Now heading back into iRec, you can actually name your recordings, whatever you like. In my case, I'm just gonna name this test two. And if you'd like to start a recording, you just have to hit start recording. Now a quick note is that although the iPad 2 and iPhone 4 can record things that are not OpenGL like Twitter, the iPad 2 and iPhone 4 cannot record open GL games like Minecraft, Clash of Clans, even if you turn on assistive touch. There's just no way around it. Those devices are outdated and are unable to do so. But if you have any other device that is not those two and is newer, you can record games like Minecraft, Clash of Clans, Infinity Blade, GBA for iOS and all that good stuff by making sure you turn on assistive touch before you start playing the game and make sure that it's on the screen. For example, if it's GBA for iOS, you need to make sure that it's on the actual ROM screen so that it'll record it. But if it's a full screen game like Minecraft, then you can put the assistive touch wherever you want and it'll make sure that it records it just fine. So when you're done with your recording, you can head home and by typing on the banner at the top where it says iRec, it'll directly take you back to iRec and you can stop your recording by selecting stop recording. You can view your recordings in recording simply by clicking it and you can see how it recorded everything that you just did perfectly fine. As you can see, we went through Twitter and then when I recorded Minecraft, as you can see, it did end up recording it because I had assistive touch on. If you tried recording Minecraft without assistive touch on, it would just be a black screen and you would not be able to see anything. But if you like to add this recording to your photos to share it with friends or upload it to YouTube, you can click on the eye and then hit export. Make sure it has access to your photos by selecting OK and it will automatically send the recording 
to your photos. So heading into your photos, you'll be able to view the recording again if you'd like, and you could share it via messages, Facebook, Vimeo, YouTube, whatever the case may be. And I'm sure you guys all know how to upload to YouTube from here. And if you'd like to get a more in-depth editing process and be able to edit your videos even more, there will be a link to a video I made on how to edit your iRec recordings in the description below. Thanks for watching and hopefully you were able to get iRec before it was shut down. If you did, then please hit that like button to see just how many people were able to install iRec before it was too late. However, if you'd still like to get iRec and it is no longer working, you can use another method, but it does require a small yearly fee to do and you'll still be able to get iRec on your iOS device. Anyways, check out some of the other videos linked in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.